చిత్రలకు వేదిక ముందు ఉండేటువంటి చిన్నారి విద్యార్థులకు శుభాకాంక్షలు ఎందుకంటే మీరు మీ సిలబస్ పూర్తి చేసుకొని పరీక్షలు రాయడానికి వెళ్తున్నారు అలాగే మీ ఉపాధ్యాయులందరూ చాలా కష్టపడి రాత్రి భవళ్ళు మీతో ఉండి మీ పరీక్షలకు మనం సంసిద్ధం చేస్తున్నారు కాబట్టి ఈ శుభ సమయంలో మీకు శుభాకాంక్షలు తప్పకుండా తెలపాలి బట్ వాట్ ఐ వాంట్ టు మేక్ యూ క్లియర్ ఈజ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ద క్లాస్ టెన్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్స్ in life you will come across thousands and thousands of examinations how are you going to face it this is my curious problem you are observing around you if you just watch your tv for 2 minutes you will find two murders two suicides and two accidents right everything life taking only not even one incident that is life giving so i must tell you how to give your own life to yourself this is very important and first point is learning if your learning is proper that is life giving for you what is learning everything what we get is learning from the day we were there in our mother's womb from that day onwards we are learning even till today or till the last moment of our day but all these are not taught by any teachers when you are in mother's womb you are responded for so many things you responded for beautiful music you responded for good things you responded for amazing things if somebody harasses the mother you get that feeling and the moment you are born you learned how to suck the mother's milk how to eat and within 3 months you learn how to crawl within 5th month you learned how to stand up and in 6 months onwards you try to walk if somebody tried to help you you never took the help of your parents or anybody to walk you wanted to walk on your own you fall down you smile at people when you fall down and you get up take two steps fall down again after falling two three times you walk on your own so from that day onwards you have been learning lot of things without anybody's teaching am i right or not yeah but my question is just to learn mass physics chemistry english telugu and sciences why should there be four walls why should there be so many teachers why should there be so many books why should there be so many examinations all this learning went on without teacher without examination can you tell me what the reason was why did you learn all those things without anybody's help can you tell me anybody you can raise your hand and tell me why did you learn all those things you don't ice cream you don't swimming a lot of things you don't to talk you don't to sing tell me why come on come on dears come on why did you learn all that did you learn or not you learned lot of things except these six subjects how did you learn did anybody examine you did anybody give you marks then tell me why there is such a big problem to learn only these six subjects i will give you the answer you learn all those things because they are absolutely necessary for you to live to live on your own these six subjects are not necessary for you to live on this is to show to your parents or to show to your teachers or to show to the society or to show somebody that i know this much and to get some job on that 
That is why learning has become such a big problem here. Second point, whatever you have learned from LKD to 10th class, these are not updated. Today's thing what you want. It is thousands of years back things what you have learned. All the physics, chemistry, maths, everything. But today, you need not be an intelligent person. There is artificial intelligence. If you heard of this word, did you hear the word artificial intelligence? What all you are using, your cell phone, everything is artificial intelligence only. It is created by us and it is doing its work. Robots. Even robotic operations are going on now. And there is chat GPT, you heard about this one. This is the recent development. If I am speaking in English, at the same time, chat GPT will translate this in a hundred other languages. With their own accent. If you want American accent, it translates to American accent. If it wants to Tamil, you have a Tamil accent. The whole world is in the fist of the artificial intelligence. Then what for our intelligence of this particular thing is helpful to us? But this one helped us to create that artificial intelligence. So make this as a stepping stone and go to that one. And the second question why I ask you is, when you learn so many things without any effort, effortlessly, painlessly, and you achieve, and only for these six subjects, you put so much of effort, and you put so much of struggle, and you face so many examinations, why this problem is, there are two words which are troubling you in life, and will go on troubling you in life. Those two words are comparison and competition. If you carry on these two words throughout your life, you will be struggling a lot. When you compare yourself with something else, somebody else, there starts your own problem. It is not the problem of others. Why should one compare with others? What is the use of comparison? Does any comparison give you any strength or any understanding? I don't think so. It gives you more struggle. It gives you more problem. And competition. Your best friend is studying with you. When you get 98 marks, when your friend gets 99 marks, what is your feeling? Will he be permanently your best friend? No. See what competition has done. What nonsense it is. In the next term you may get 99 and he may get 98. Then he will become your enemy. So comparison provides you enemies only. Not only here, anywhere. Be yourself. You are what you are. If you are getting 60, okay 60, 80 or 80, 90 or 90, you are what you are, but you can't be the other one. The other entity is exactly what he she is. So in life never compare with others, never compete with others. Suppose if you are going in a running race, will you look at others whether they are crossing you or you will do it on your own? When you look at the others are running or not with you, you will lose one fraction of a second and with that one fraction of a second, the other will process you. If you don't look at others, if you look yourself and if you start running yourself, you will reach the goal earlier. So, either comparison or competition is to yourself only. You compare yourself. You compete yourself. I always tell to the students one quotation. Better than yesterday, but not so well as tomorrow. Summer students, those who have come, they might have heard this one. Better than yesterday, but 
not so well as tomorrow. If you look at yourself, okay, yesterday this I have done, but right, today I am here. So let me be better than tomorrow. That is a good thing, but when looking at others, you cannot become better. You will become worse. And you lose your friends also. You lose your friends also. So comparison and competition, these two are the things that are making us suffer a lot. Not only to you, to the whole of the world. But the past one and a half year, there is a war going on between two countries. One small country and one huge country. Can you tell me what are those countries? Again. Russia and Ukraine. Both of them are fighting. Either countries fighting or the people are fighting. Are the countries fighting or the people are fighting? Who are fighting? People. Don't forget, country is nothing. Country means people. So finally, who are the sufferers? People of Ukraine and people of Russia. Directly and indirectly, the whole of the world, rest of the world. So my little friends, mind that you should have competition or comparison with yourself. Don't compare with others, don't compete with others. You lose your good friends. And sharing never takes place in comparison. Sharing never takes in comparison. I think you might have heard that story in Romanto. Lot of times I might have told you. See, our competition was held for uh, these handicapped people. Those who lost their leg, one leg and So, 10 of them were meant for running and the first person will get the first prize. And only prize, first prize. And the competition started. So when the competition started this time, people started running. And after a minute or so, one of the competitors fell down. Then one boy turned and looked at the fellow and came back and lifted him and put his hand on him. I think we. So to whom they have to give the first prize then? What do you want? They have to share the Praise to everybody. So ultimately, in the 10th class or intermediate, and you are going to jump into intermediate also. That is more harder. That is more harder to you. And after intermediate, of course, there is some chance you may get your own way. But to choose your own way also it is very difficult. Very difficult to choose your own way. What do you want to become? Did you have any idea? Do you want to become anybody or anything in your life? What do you want to do? Is the time for you to select? If you join an intermediate, almost 57% of the selection is over. If you are taking YPC means, you are going in one path. If you are taking MPC, another path. If you are going to take up um, commerce and economics, another path. So your paths are decided. Within one month you have to select your own path, which way you have to walk. Once if you start the journey, you cannot come back. But in India we have only four or five paths left to us. And we never look at our, almost all paths are closed to us. There are a lot of ways of living in other world. But in India, we have no talents and all the talents are being killed. Young friends, I am telling you, if you have any talent in you, please verify yourself. Make clear that you bring out your talent slowly and make your talent your own future. Everybody runs in the same group, but don't run in a group if you have some talent or the other. So identify your talent, whatever talent it is, and in that talent you are the only person who is expert in that. There is no competition for you. Nobody can compete with you. 
sudden that way whatever it is give it brings you less money and less respect and everything but you will be happy so why we are born we are born happily but we are not living happily this is up to you now you bring all the stress on your mind unnecessary stress and you see what we what is happening to people the teachers are dying of heart attacks students are dying of heart attacks huh young people are dying why all this is happening the unnecessary stress that we have taken if you go to any doctor today the first thing he is going to or she is going to ask you is do you have any stress the first question so first stress relieving tablets then they are going to what is this stress where it is coming from who is giving it? who is putting on your head it's all you only nobody can make you stress on anything you want to run with them so you are getting into stress so don't take all the stress of the world on your head and try to live live very happily so you need not be an intelligent person you can create artificial intelligence today the everything is done by artificial intelligence only you are getting lot of leisure time that is why today things are like this and of course all your teachers have talked to you and they have to give you some good advice which i am not able to give you because my advice won't be helpful for you in your examinations but my advice is how to write an examination i can tell you how to write an examination suppose you went for a wedding party with just a wedding party there are hundreds of items are kept over there right so you take the plate and you go to the menu menu item item of your item from 1 to 100 you go on putting this little bit little bit and that and you come and sit and mix up the whole thing and then eat and come away 90% of the people will do this but either can tell us what they will do they take the plate go around first whatever is the most interesting tastiest tastiest thing that they take up they eat that much and the next item they go to next item they go to so they spend almost one hour enjoying the whole feast your examination every day examination is your feast don't forget that yeah don't take all those one and put everything and then mix up and then you know a sweet heart sambar rice and everything mix up and eat and come no that is animal instinct we call we are humans so write your examination very clearly very neatly and get your good marks i know all of you will get good marks there is no second part about it because you are all very intelligent hard working and you have been trained under so many hard workers i really appreciate them and i really appreciate you